I've had a lot of people ask me, what is this 8-1 real estate? What, what 81 real estate, what, what does that mean? Is it because you did eight plus one deals? That's not it at all. Let me explain. When you come across a house that is completely destroyed and falling apart, holes in the floor, holes in the roof, mold everywhere, term, just an absolute disaster, what happens? The city comes, they stop a, stamp a big note on the door, usually highlighter yellow or green. Sometimes they'll put up tape. They'll say, condemned. What does condemn mean? Condemn means unfit for use. That is exactly what happens in our personal lives. Uh, from, from a young age, I grew up in kind of a faith community, uh, the Christian household community. And that whole premise of that we're sinful people, we're bad people, that we need help. That we're not, we're not, we're not bad people that need to try harder. We're dead people that need to be brought to life. We need to move from condemnation, unfit for use, and move out of that. So what we do when we buy houses, we buy them, we fix them, we rip everything out, we make it nice, we make it safe, and we transform it from condemnation, unfit for use, to something that is good and useful and has purpose and meaning. And I believe that all of us need to find that in our personal life. And so 8.1 is from Romans 8.1 in the Bible, that now therefore there's no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And so I think I've experienced that in my personal life and the lives of the people around me. And we try to apply those same principles to real estate. So the way that we do business and the way that we do housing is we operate in a spirit of excellence, in transparency, try to always do right by people. We don't take shortcuts. We keep our word. We act with a high level of integrity. And I hope that I can show you how that can benefit you over the long run. Because at the end of the day, you build trust. There's a lot of landlords out there, a lot of landlords out there that will tell you to go for the cheapest houses, do the bare minimum. We call them slum lords, as the, the horrible connotation is. And unfortunately, there's a lot of those people out there that'll trip over anything, plow over anything to get another dollar. If that's you, I do not want to work with you. That is not how I do things. That's not how I'm going to teach you how to do things. I'm going to teach you how to do things right, with a high level of integrity that you can stamp your name on and stand behind. That's what we do.